Hello everybody. Okay, so thank you for clicking on this video. I decided that to start out the new decade, I needed to just deep clean my room and do like, you know, a clean room. And we actually got new furniture, which I actually talk about in the video. I'm very excited to like show you what I did with it because some might say it's a downgrade, but thank you for clicking. Um, Gosh, it's been so long in front of the camera that I forget what to say. Basically, I always promise that I'm gonna do a room tour and I never do, and today I was just fed up earlier, so I was like, I'm just gonna film it and hopefully that'll make a great video back. Please, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into it. All right, everybody, so right now we are just standing outside of my door, and I figured I would show you what I had outside of my door because that's basically part of my room. So right here I have my key holder I got from Five Below, like I think a couple years ago, and it just has my keys on here um, that say Juicy and like um, my my key to my door, my house, my car, and then oh, this um this ornament that my friend Sarah Slappy made for me. Sarah, I love this ornament. Or I don't know if she made it or if she bought it. Either way, girl, it's great. And then above my door, really quick, I have some of the Disney princesses. I got that from Ross. Y'all are gonna hear that store name a lot, Ross, because it's where I get a majority of everything I own. So right here, I'm in room number one, because this is a dorm. Like It's apartment style, but it's a dorm. I live in room one, numero uno. So we're gonna go on in and then we have my room. Now, I know you can see my collage wall screaming at you, but I'll get to that wall later. We're gonna just do a little, a little pan around the room. Then we make it over to the bed. Oh, and my closet, which is open, which I love. And that's the way it came. And like, you know, there's some shoes down there. Um, I guess let's just go ahead and dive in. We'll start from over here. So, so I was telling y'all my closet is, well, oh my gosh, there's a whole wall right here that y'all didn't even see. So I have this wall right here, which here I am, y'all. I look a mess. I have my bonnet on, but the show must go on. I didn't feel like getting all dressed up and I knew I'd be dressed up later to do the intro and stuff. So that is beside the point you can see this is an iphone youtube video we're doing we're getting corners over here at lexi shepherd so this is the first wall of my room that i'm gonna show you so right here i have this little mini iron board because literally first of all like I, my clothes would always just be wrinkled and i needed to get an iron and they have this cute iron board so i have that and then if you can look closer all of handsome's hair is on it because he loves to sit on the ironing board so i iron everything inside out which is hilarious and then over here we have a diffuser that my dad um got me when when I was sick and it's the kind that like projects images on the ceiling like for kids it's the kids one a little tip is the kids ones work just as good as the adult ones literally the exact same result and then right here I have a little wallflower and it's sensual amber which is my favorite bath and body work scent so when I saw they had it in a wallflower and the wallflowers were three dollars that day it was love and then we have this mirror that you can see my lovely ensemble in that is it's like a five dollar mirror from walmart and then one summer one summer me and hannah were really craft crazy my best friend hannah and i was like i'm just gonna do this flower mirror well, it's not terrible but i think you can definitely tell that someone made this and then this is actually one of my favorite things in my room because it was a ross find and it was just so the vibe of the room and if i say vibe a lot in this video i am so sorry it is a photo of kate upton posing for tom ford just the frame work of it her pose in it her eyes look at those supermodel eyes and like the shoes especially because i love the shoes it was just a great piece for the room especially so close to the closet and actually if i didn't have this i would probably have put it up here hannah made me this sign you'll recognize this from my old room tour the dolly party quote it costs a lot of money to look this cheap which i thought is super funny for my closet and not just my closet but just closets in particular honestly i really could have <laughs> touched this up a little better but you know 
realness. These are where I put my tops. And then you notice I have this um, two rack hanger still from Bed Bath & Beyond. So I put all of my tops over here. I can't wait to wear this top, y'all. I haven't worn it yet, but I got it on Black Friday. It's from Fashion Nova. I cannot wait to wear this top. On the bottom, I have my jackets, which goes into like skirts. And then here I have my rompers and dresses right here. And then if we move over, first of all, you see one of my sunglasses broke. I've got like a thing of earmuffs right here, hangers, and all of my glasses sitting on a Juicy Couture hanger that came with a Juicy blanket that I love. My friend Jenna helped me come up with this. We just got started hanging them because she helped me deep clean my room like a little while ago. And we came up with this, which this is just hilarious to me that this is broken. And then down here we have my purses right now. My my favorite purse is this guest purse that I got from, <laughs> you guessed it, Ross. I love the brand guest, like this is guest, this is guest. I actually have a real Louis Vuitton bag back there that's getting smushed that my aunt gave me. It's an antique and I love it. And then up here I have like some heels, my galoshes, a bag Hannah got me for Christmas a beach bag up there. That's my closet. And so now we move on to the place where I literally spend majority of my time, which is my bed. So basically my bed, I tried to make it like a makeshift day bed because I felt like if I had made the pillows go this way, you wouldn't be able to see it when you walked in, it'd be like kind of closed off. So to open up the room, I decided to do like all the pillows facing this way. So basically we start with this bedding, which I love, which is from Ross. Yes, I'm sorry, that's gonna get so annoying because I have so much stuff from Ross. And then we have like a reversible blanket that is cheetah print that you might recognize from my old room tour. You might see a lot of oldies in this one. Um, my cheetah print Snuggie. And then to start out, out the little roll call of the animals we've got Minnie Mouse and then this guy's kind of new I got him over the summer on my birthday cruise and his name is Sean Shepherd, and I love him and then we have one of my really new ones this is um Stella I think I named her Hannah got me this because it has a heat pad in it which is like amazing and it is my best friend I have obviously Harley Quinn right here which I've had her I think since freshman year and then this is a little bear I don't even think I named this bear but this is a bear that my friend Marcel got me for her Valentine's Day one year and then I've got flower from Bambi looking all coquettish in the corner so then when you move back you see the pillows and I got this red glittery one from Amazon as well as this Marilyn Monroe silhouette one which I love and I don't think I'll ever get rid of this pillow. This one came with the bedding. This one is also from Amazon. The Louis Vuitton one is fake. Um, absolutely because I, you won't <laughs> have spending money on a real Louis Vuitton pillowcase. Not. We got her from Etsy and she does a lot of other designers so if you like that kind of thing please check her out and then another one that came with the bedding and then this one came with my sheets my sheets actually look like that and if you look further back i have a white satin pillowcase that i like to sleep on for skin and hair and stuff like that and then i've got like my little cat back here that i snuggle with every night and then if you move back you see my tapestry here which is an illustration of the phrase bite the bullet and okay so quick story about this furniture because it is a doozy. Basically, we were told we were gonna get new furniture in these dorms. Our old furniture was like a five um, drawer dresser that was like up to here and then my TV sat up here. And then we had a huge desk that actually went out the other way. So this is like half the size of that desk and we had new furniture that my TV didn't even fit on. So I had to fit like both, which this is what they replaced the five dresser drawers with. Now I am appreciative for everything I have, but I have to wonder who made that choice. Basically in the window that you just saw, this is a Nala doll from The Lion King when it came to the fox, like way back when, I remember I was a kid. And then we've got this classic picture of the OG3, which a lot of exciting things are coming up for us, like just personally, and that's exciting. I'm excited to see where that goes. So then when you move over, we've got my, my team. Y'all know I love this TV. I got it for my 21st birthday, or I bought it for myself for my 21st birthday, if you saw that vlog. And then I wanted to show you guys my theme. I did not know that Roku's could have a theme, like you can change that background. And mine is like cherry blossoms, it's called the Zen theme. Okay, so moving on from the themes, I was like really in love with that. Here is my Polaroid camera, which sadly I don't think even works anymore. And then there's a picture of me and my cousin Zay Zay on the cruise that I was just talking about in front of the Chanel store. Yes, the cruise 
Cruise had a Chanel store. Isn't that amazing? But we are serving looks. And then we move over and we have Peppa over here living her best life. And then we have this like, I got this from a yard sale, I think. It's like a um, solar powered thing with the butterfly, like that makes the butterfly fly. And then we've got my DVD player because I am a DVD fanatic. I only brought like 20 of mine with me. I still brought my DVD player just in case and I love DVDs and watching them on this beautiful television. And then we have a Hollywood sign that I actually got from Hollywood, California. And I thought it was fitting to put it in front of the TV where we see the stars. And then we've got the DVD remote, a little rose candle that I got from Dollar Tree, believe it or not. And then under it is the Holy Bible, which maybe I need to move this picture now that it's above the Bible, but it's me and my friends, um, Claudia, Yvonne, and Landris, and we're at this bar called The Tap. That was the pose that we decided to do in the moment. Surely we decided that soberly though. <laughs> so moving on from that, we have my fireplace, like, well, mock. I love this. Like, this is a great, cause like I sleep there. So a lot of times this is what I see and I just love that visual. We'll start from over here. So this is a lipstick piggy bank that I got at Goodwill. I love her. And then this is my Tiana pop figure. First pop figure of the video. And then we have this picture from my cruise this summer. Um, and I love this picture because it's like friends and family combined. So then I have this huge stack of books, various books, some I've read, some I've never even opened. And then like the true nerd I am, <laughs> I have these action figures of the Bella Twins, my favorite wrestlers. This is so embarrassing though, but I love these girls. And like Jordan got me these for my birthday. I love these action figures. And then I have this painting. Ooh, Salvador Dali, I think. That's that sounds right. I think it's Salvador Dali. Whoever is really famous for their surrealist paintings. I, I knew more about this painting. It's called The Kiss or something. You see this couple kissing goodbye and obviously the clouds are shaped like lips. And it's just such a romantic picture. I love it. So then we have my desk. We are by the exposed bricks. You feel very smart. You feel like you're getting a lot of things done. Should have moved that Starbucks cup, but it looks kind of cute. First, we have my laptop with all my stickers. And then I actually recently purchased a wireless mouse like a bluetooth because if you have a macbook like me like a newer one they don't have any usb port so i had to get one that was bluetooth and i got this really cute wonder woman mouse pad that's like american flag so then i guess i'll shout out the starbucks mug this is a cheetah print starbucks mug that i cherish so much i love it i got it as a secret santa present years ago from my dear friend seth seth you're probably not watching this but if you are i miss you thank you for the mug and then over here I actually found this when I went home for the holidays recently my mom got me this years ago for Christmas like a long time ago and it says from the desk of Alexia Shepard I was like I have to bring it back oh no I dropped my little laptop case and then we have identity in Christ that's my um bible studies unit we were working on and then we have my paper cutter this is all leading up I really should have started with <laughs> the reason behind some of these purchases earlier basically i needed to purchase one of these um it's martha stewart's it's so pretty um my sister got me a michael's gift card that bought me a lot so thank you for that and then my cricket mat for hmm this cricket so i have that cricket and i'm gonna literally touch on this in a second i'm gonna finish up the rest of the stuff on the desk and then tell you about this boy okay after you get from the mat you have this picture of me liz theo and nick from an award show that we did last january like literally a year i guess coming up then i have like little push pins and stuff just school supplies and then i have a little plug this frame that is supposed to hold polaroid pictures but you know of course sadly my polaroid and then i've got like my pens and pencils and like different school supplies and a lollipop and tape a little charging port and then another travel one that my niece actually got me for christmas now we've come to the piece de resistance i think i said that wrong the cricket explore air 2 now, I only asked for one thing for Christmas this year, and that was this machine. It is a smart cutting machine. It can cut vinyl, paper, iron on. Here's the little knob with some of the materials. So like, it's like a smart cutter, any shape, any saying you want, like 
you can do on the Cricut. This was something I wanted really bad. And two days after I got it, you know, it was working fine. This came on and it hasn't been working since. So I'm in the process with their, you know, um, customer service trying to get a situation figured out, but it makes me sad just looking at it because I love this thing. Hopefully when it starts working, I can start doing Cricut videos because y'all, I am a little crafter now. Like I really have stepped up my game. So I definitely want to do Cricut videos in the future. Hopefully if it works. So then moving on from the desk, if you look on the floor, we have my backpack and this gorgeous Marilyn Monroe um, picture that I got for Secret Santa, which I don't know where to hang it yet. So I just put it there. So if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. So then hello again. We are at this collage wall. It just has pictures of like my friends and family, vibey things. Oh, that sign is my 21st birthday sign for my party, which was WWE themed. It was amazing. Just picture sayings and I love this wall. And maybe I could even do a video on everything on this wall and what it means and like where I was, maybe. So then you move on over here and we've got my pinups from a calendar that I tore out. And then I have this reputation Atlanta skyline that I got when I went to Reputation. So then the last wall of the room is my cart. So my mom got me this cart to go with my Cricut stuff. You know, this is where all my materials are and I went ham buying these materials when I got the Cricut. And now they're just like sitting here, but hopefully I can use them later. This is my record player. I don't really have a place to put it like over here, especially since they replaced our furniture. So she's just sadly sitting there closed. Maybe I'll whip her out one day. And then we have pop figure too. We have Dion, love me some Dion. And then up here is just this photo box that I got for Christmas and some transfer tape along with just stickers and stick on letters and stencils and other things like that. And then we've got my Marilyn Monroe calendar. Y'all know I have a calendar every year. I write what happens every day and I'm a little behind and I'm ashamed. And then we have a breakfast at Tiffany still of Audrey Hepburn that is breathtaking and it's like it's almost like she's looking in here and she's like oh this is tiffany's i'd love to like look in here but i don't know i love it so then I, i'll show you the bathroom i guess here's my bathroom my shower curtain i have a sign from the brand bb that says to glam to give a damn and then i have my jewelry oh and then i've got veronica lodge pop figure because who better to guard the jewelry and then i've got my perfumes um bombshell intense is my newest one and i love it and then we've got my face washes my lotions my toothpaste toothbrush and then all of my makeup because i used to have my makeup on my desk but since the desk is small, I have to do it in here now. So like all of my makeup, my palettes, you know, everything is in here. Honestly, that's really my room. So I'll give you one more overview before you leave. And yeah, <laughs> that's it. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching that video. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a like and even subscribe if you feel so compelled. Um, it feels great to be back in front of the camera again. And I'm not even gonna bother to promise you that I'm gonna get back to it because sometimes life gets busy or in college, you try to figure everything out and things happen, but you never forget to do what you love. So you guys know I can never stay away from you. All right, I love you. Be blessed, all right?